which goes into the whole thing about like like personalities and whatever like as I said a lot of people who are shitty people quote unquote get into being like VTubers and shit because of the whole like like anonymity anonymous side of it or whatever thinking that like that's just gonna be like a crutch for them or something it came in from the Think that's just gonna be a crutch for him and whatever. Well, nine times out of ten, it's not because that shit comes right around the corner. And not not comes right. That shit's always lurking around the corner, waiting to be like brought back to the surface and shit. And people are like, "Oh, well, you know." I can do this and I can do that and I'm a whole different person and they do the whole like like they're they're that like oh they my character isn't me or whatever and or I am the character that I portray as my VTuber so therefore um you know you, you're not just attacking me you're attacking other people and shit and it's like dog and bro <laughs> I and I like still a piece of shit at the end of the day Oh my god there's a cat over there but back to it Yeah think a little switch rule and like help them get places and shit but at the end of the day right like they know that they're never going to escape the shit that they've done before and people aren't just gonna forget and shit and people will know and all it takes is like all it takes is like one fuck up or one additional fuck up for them to do some shit and then it's all over but then again at the same time motherfuckers would just sit up and be like oh well you know I'm gonna graduate all right, and, and it happens all the time whenever a motherfucker gets found out from doing some fuck shit they're just like, oh, well, I'm going to graduate. Um, I'm going to go on and do bigger, better things, which is code for I'm going to temporarily quit VTubing until p enough people forget about the shit I did and then try to come back, which is pretty much what happens all the time. Like that, that that's normally how that shit goes down. Oh, wait, is this the final room? And let me finish my point before I go and fight this bitch. Um. So. Like, people just do this shit over and over and over and over and over. Because, like, the other part that lets people do all these, like, frequent graduations and rebrandings and whatever is because people... I want to say people, I mean like, like, in, in this case specifically, VTuber watchers and like the people who consume the content, they have, a lot of them have so little of an intention span and capacity to think critically about anything. So it's unsurprising when someone does something fucking horrible and like they betray their community and like they're exposed as like a really horrible person, news gets around, yada yada yada. It it doesn't surprise me that like after roughly uh like two to three or no no two 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 to four days, um, people just move on and act like shit didn't happen. So expand two days or two to four days across two to four months and such and when people stop talking about a particular individual they get exposed to being horrible on moss whatever then the original person is like okay now's my time to come back not realizing the fact that on a widespread scale it looks like people have stopped talking about it people still remember 
the threads still exist. The twitlongers still exist and whatnot. And um people no 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 the 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 content creator in question then like tries to spin that around and be like no it was it was like that it was like this or like that basically try to gaslight people into thinking what they want them to think etc and they do that on repeat until it works for them because that's what they do when they want to quote unquote make a comeback or keep doing what they do and shit like that. And for people with common sense, you know, after you fuck up the first time and you get mass exiled, there is no comeback for you. But again, as I said uh, like an hour or so ago, people have terminal clout chasing syndrome. So they are not going to stop until they are like literally physically forced to stop or like like something happens to them to where like it is no longer in their like best interest to continue doing so. And that's the thing. And then people go on about like cancel culture this and cancel culture that. A lot of the time, it's not trying to cancel someone. It's being like, hey, you did some horrible shit. You need to own up to the horrible shit that you did. Trying to cancel someone is taking like some bullshit non-issue or whatever and blowing that up into this massive ordeal to get massive outrage to try and ruin someone. Holding someone accountable for the shit that they did, that's not canceling someone. That's holding a motherfucker accountable when they won't do it themselves type shit. That, that, that's the difference. And then additionally, you can't cancel someone who doesn't give a fuck in the first place. That's why you still got people like, again, like, like TV was taken, constantly trying to come back. People like... And you'll go ASMR constantly trying to make a comeback. That's why you got all these like the 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 these racist VTubers constantly doing shit because they don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, people can be mad that they said or did some fuck shit or whatever, but they don't give a fuck. Like recently, the fucking 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 Tostify guy. That guy didn't give a fuck. Cause he fucking he lied about one thing, lied about something else, lied about something else, lied about something else, and then called himself getting canceled, but then was laughing hee hee and ha ha on his friend's fucking poorly done damage control stream and whatever. And then like two days or something went by, the impact of the dog, another dog shit ass apology thing, talking about. Oh, well, yeah, I'm sorry, I apologize, apologize for that. No. You don't you just don't give a fuck. You just constantly attach to being the center of attention in one way or another. And that th that is a perpetual cycle that goes on in the VTubing space with people who get exposed or uh, ha or have people come forward about some shit that they, that they did and then instead of owning up and being like I apologize shouldn't do this shouldn't do that they'll play all kinds of damage control and then try to spin the fucking game on people to no avail and then like I said go into hiding wait until people seemingly forget on the surface and then try all over again and this shit keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Like, you you very rarely, rarely see someone, like, genuinely try to change themselves and be remorseful and, like, genuinely apologize for what they fucking did. That's such a rare occurrence that when someone does 
go out their way to show and do their damage to prove that they're trying to change and be a better person, people automatically don't believe it because it's such a rare occurrence and all that shit. So hard to find real honesty or real remorse or regret and something better say online, man. Yeah, cuz thing, like because the internet, people don't actually have to try and be apologetic about something because most people on the internet, what they do is like like because it's been done before by many people. All they have to do is to say say the line, I'm sorry, and I'll get help. Once they say that, somehow all is forgiven and, it, and it's time to just move on right off rip. Because people say that, and then they do that, and then it has been shown many a time before to actually work for people. And that's the cycle of horrible people being called out for stuff in the VTubing space and then them constantly trying to fucking come back all the time.